Hey people, Demon here. Today I am reviewing What If, well, Marvel's What If, Episode 4. And I gotta say, it was a really good episode. It was probably my favorite episode out of all the episodes so far. Um, I'll do spoiler free really quick, then I'll go to spoilers. So, spoiler free really quick. Uh, this episode's about Doctor Strange. Uh, that's all I can really say because most people would know that by now. Um, but it's really good. It's about a certain point. <laughs> Can't really say much more than that. Um, where he just messes around with magic. Can't really say more than that either because that's what he does. He messes around with magic. And we actually might see something from the first episode. Um, so that's a little bit interesting. <laughs> But you can't really say what it is without spoiling you, so that's interesting. But anyways, that's about it. that's about all I can say really quick without spoiling it. It's just a really good episode with Doctor Strange in it trying to do something and he messes up. <laughs> um, but there is a possibility that this Doctor Strange can still come back because he still exists. You know? Just saying, just like every other what if story, there's a possibility that there's something that could happen afterwards. <laughs> there's always that little possibility, which is always interesting. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go into spoilers. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. So, spoiler alert. So, this Doctor Strange, I mean, this what if story is about Doctor Strange. And instead of driving and losing his hands uh, when he crashed, or use, losing most control over his hands because his profession is a brain surgeon or something like that, uh, instead of losing that, he loses the love of his life, and he's miserable. He becomes the Wizard Supreme, just like normal, but this time, he goes back in time to save the love of his life. Um, so he goes back in time to save her, over and over and over and over again with the time stone um, and always messing up. And then we get explained, we get it explained to us by the old Sorcerer Supreme that you cannot, uh, you cannot stop a, a fixed point in time. So Dr. Strange says, like hell I can't, and he goes off to stop a fixed point in time. He goes off to an ancient library where he discovers how to do so, and how to do so is to get super powerful to the point where you can do it. So he starts absorbing these eldritch monsters sort of things, um, just absorbing them for decades and decades, and the person that was there with him uh, slowly aged to this and, and died eventually, never stopping him, but just, just telling him, was like, hey, this is the wrong idea. <laughs> Um, very interesting to see that. Um, and this is where we see the thing from, uh, episode one, where, uh, Captain, uh, Captain Britain, I guess her name was, uh, she got sucked into the portal with the tentacle monster. We see the tentacle monster once again, but this time Dr. Strange absorbs it, or absorbs its tentacles, not the whole thing, I assume. So very interesting indeed. <laughs> um... <clears throat> So we just see him keep on doing this over and over again until he gets super duper 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 powerful. He actually is so powerful at this point he can sense the Watcher, uh, which he uh, presumes is a god, which we know is a. Well, if you if you ever seen the comics, he's kind of like a, like he's like he's like one of the Eternals. He's not an Eternal, like, but he's. Like, He's like one of the more powerful entities, like his species is one of the more powerful entities, you know. Um, they can screw with time and stuff, I'm pretty sure, but they usually don't because they're watchers. <laughs> uh, and stuff like, except sometimes they do, <laughs> especially in the comics. Um, so yeah, he can sense this being, but he just ignores it and he just continues doing what he's doing. And then he realizes there's only one thing left to absorb is himself. Because the Ancient One, the one that tried to stop him from doing this, uh, split him into two. So he finds himself and he's just like, hey, let's be absorbed together and we can save this girl that we love. And the world will be whole again. 
but the whole world around them is falling apart because he's destroying the whole dimension. Um, and the other Doctor Strange is like, hell to the nah, and he fights him. And it's a pretty, pretty epic fight. But at the end, the evil Doctor Strange wins because he's just that much more powerful. Because he's been absorbing creatures and monsters for his whole life. To be honest, I feel like this was probably the weakest part of the whole thing. I feel like our Doctor Strange, the Wizard, our, our Sorceress Supreme, shouldn't have stood a chance against this new Doctor Strange. Just saying. <laughs> They're about the same age and stuff, and uh, this new Doctor Strange have been, has been absorbing creatures forever. So I don't think he should have really stood a chance, but he did, I guess. But uh, that's besides the point, I guess. Anyways, at the end, he ends up bringing her back to life and destroying the universe. And the universe starts collapsing around him. He tries to stop it. He can't. He asks the Watcher for help. The Watcher actually talks to him, which is really actually interesting and cool. And the Watcher's just basically like, uh, man, I could, but I can't because I can't, I can't intervene, man. Because look what happens. Look at what happens when you intervene with time and stuff. And he's just like, oh, no, you bastard sort of thing. And then the girl he loves gets erased from existence, and so does his whole entire timeline get erased from existence. And except for him, he put himself in like this little bubbled barrier um, where he's just stuck there in this empty, vast void. And that's why I said there's a possibility this Doctor Strange could come back some point uh, because he's just stuck there. He's he's stuck in the time line that's been destroyed, a universe that's been destroyed. So he could definitely come back at one point or another, which is uh, very interesting to say the least. So yeah, really enjoyed this episode. Probably one of the best episodes uh, so far. And um, can't wait to see if this guy comes back because he was pretty powerful. <laughs> and plus he might have like thousands of years to train himself. Just in this little bubble, going insane. Uh, kind of doubt he'll come back, but if he does, it'll be pretty interesting. But anyways, uh, I hope you liked this review. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. That's the best way to keep my channel. Link down below to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, our friends, stay sane. Peace. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, and share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. My baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> Cause you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at everybody. Look over here. <laughs>